what is your name? Uh, uh, my name is uh, Douglas Martin Schwartz, and uh, it's not my middle name either. That's uh, it's actually Douglas Allen Martin Schwartz. I uh, took my wife's name. We hyphenated it so that we were because um, we want to be kind of a progressive couple, and we want to you know uh, down with the patriarchy, and that yeah, that's um, yeah. So um, you've been given this opportunity here to uh, to have us document your forty-eight hour film project. How do you feel about that? I'm really excited. Uh, I'm glad you guys are here, and uh, I think you're, you're really going to um, enjoy what you see. It's going to be a really uh, a marvelous thing. I mean, I don't want to call myself a genius or anything like that. What we're going to, what, what I'm going to try to do here in 48 hours is uh, uh, is encapsulate a modern parable of uh, the industrialism and, and the perils of industrialism, and uh, the rise of the proletariat. And we're going to encapsulate this entire thing in uh, in a. a it's a magical little town full of emaciated animals, which uh, represent the bourgeoisie and the proletariat. So, so do, you, do you guys want to? Do you want to see the set? You want to see the? I mean, because I got this whole thing put together. It's, come on, 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 come on. Just watch, uh, watch, watch where you sit because it's a, it's a total mess in here. But you know, I got this set and, and I put this whole thing together and I got the lights and I got the and 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 the, and, the, and the tripod and it's just it's all ready to go. So I'm um, you know, uh, and, and this is where I work. This is where I do my art. This, I come in here. And I and I direct, and I get the, you know I get the uh, the reactions that I want from the actors, and, and this is my chair. See, I, I don't have one of those fancy director chairs, but I felt that this one was better for my my lower back support. I kind of have like the sacral problem. I sit here, and 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 this is this is where it happens. Um. So, uh, Deborah, do you uh, do you ever work with your husband on these projects? He seems very passionate about this work with my husband let's just be clear okay i have three jobs he is zero and by the way he has an associate's degree i think he told you he had a master's but he has an associate's degree yes so um i paid for it too by the way is this like a documentary on like what it's like to be an american woman tell us what uh what a typical day for you working on this project is like well, you know, I get up, um, I get up, I get up pretty early. I get up around ten, ten thirty, uh, and then uh, you know, I, I take a nice long shower because uh, I like to have that, uh, you know, the epiphany in the shower, which helps me really get through the day. Because you, you know, you do something in the shower, and it's such a, it's such a rote process that you can, you can, you can shed your mind of all the other distractions and really just concentrate on what you want to think about, and it's really, it's really a marvelous thing. So I come in here, and then uh, you know I map out the scene, and I and I don't really do storyboards because uh, I I can't draw, but and and I, I work out the scenes that I'm going to do for the day, and which uh, which particular actors are going to be part of it, and I and I work through that with them, you know how, what their motivation is and how they're going to do the part, and and yeah no it's exciting I really like doing it it's just it's, it just gets me going. This is, uh, this is my good buddy, Jason Strawberry. Uh, he likes to come out and, and uh, help me with the films. Um, we've made a bunch of them together. He doesn't how always come you, out. How did you get involved in working together? Well, we, we used to work together at um, 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 the, the other place where we worked before. And uh, we worked together. And then, you know, he kind of, like, uh, moved up in the ranks. And I, I didn't, I kind of say this, I stagnated a bit because I really wasn't, uh, eventually he had to fire me. But, uh you know, we're over that. That's cool. You know, I mean, it's not, it's nothing, it's just business. My name's Jason Strawberry. I work in IT. Douglas used to be one of my uh, colleagues. Till, uh, till he got too into this animal filming activity. Would you say there's something raw there? Raw. I was thinking more in terms of basic or rudimentary. I guess that could be raw. Hey, Becky, we need your help. The railroad has destroyed Mindy's house. What? Like, when did that happen? The, the lions told me you'd know what to do. It's not really a stop motion. It's not really a puppetry thing. It's kind of a, an amalgamation of the two. And we don't really script the scenes. Uh, they're, they're really kind of, uh, you know, off the cuff. 
Um, and that's good because they're a talented group. Hey, Marty, we're going to have a town meeting. We're going to bring a railroad to Animal Town. Holy shit, I just crapped myself. Now, now, we all need to make sacrifices so that we can all enjoy a better future. And I, Dave Pelletin, as your new president, will make those sacrifices. So uh, we find ourselves here with the Martin Schwartzes here at the end of the 48-hour film project weekend. I just want to know, Douglas, your final thoughts on how Animal Town turned out and any challenges you felt you faced this weekend. Uh, you know, I really felt that uh, it was my, my best film today. It really came together well in the end. Uh, the only real challenge was uh, bringing the talent in and getting them to rise to the occasion. But I'm really more proud of myself for uh, getting them to do that. So, yeah. Did you do this? I took this apple out of the bowl and there's a bite out of it. Uh, you know, it, it kind of looks like the size of your mouth. It too. was kind of mushy. So, what's next for you two, or you, Douglas? Um, you know, uh, maybe we'll do a sequel, or uh, or we'll move on to another project. That I'm not sure, but uh, definitely going to continue. If I'm not here, how are you going to fund your next project? I'll find a way. Um, well, see, you really care if I'm here uh, or not. Yeah. It's pretty awesome. Yeah. It is pretty awesome.